Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Food Chain TV. I'm gonna show you the proper way to season chicken. Okay, now in this case, uh, I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, but this will work the same with chicken thighs, chicken drumsticks, chicken breasts. So I'm just gonna show you simply the technique that you have to follow to season chicken properly. Now this particular chicken, I'm gonna throw on the grill, but I could just as easily roast it or cook it in a pan. All right, so this is kind of a universal technique for how to season chicken. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is wash the chicken. So I'm just gonna put it in a bowl here in the sink. I'm gonna run some cold water over the chicken. Now, I know a lot of you like to use like lemon and salt and stuff in the water. I don't really think it's that necessary. Chicken here in Florida is a pretty clean product, so I don't think you need to do that. But depending on what part of the world you're in, if you think your chicken uh, is not as clean as it should be, sure, you can add a little bit of vinegar or lemon juice or salt to the water. Uh, I just don't think in the United States it's necessary. Okay, so I'm just gonna massage the chicken just like that. Okay, I'm gonna drain this and then we'll go back to the cutting board. All right, now I know that there's a lot of you who are afraid of chicken and you know, you don't have to be, it's just chicken. You're gonna be okay. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna smell it. Okay, if it smells good, it's good. Your nose was put on your face to detect bad food. So if the chicken smells bad, do not eat it. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. If it stinks, it's not good. And usually, if you're gonna get sick from eating chicken, it would be chicken that would smell bad, but somebody cooked it anyways, and then you ate it, okay? So as long as you smell it, and it smells fine, or it has no smell at all, then it's good to go. Now, there's a little bit of moisture left from the water when we washed it, so what I like to do is just take some paper towel and just very quickly pat the chicken dry. Then I'm gonna transfer it into another bowl. Now, one of the problems with chicken is that people tend to overcook it because they don't cut it thin to begin with. So chicken, you always have to make sure it's thin pieces. That way you can cook it quickly and it's evenly cooked and you don't have to burn the outside of it in order to get the inside of it to get cooked properly. So I like to go through my chicken and if I see any areas that are thick, which this is a lot easier to do with uh, chicken breast, but you can still do it with chicken thigh. Okay, just kind of even it out. Okay, so it's all sort of the same thickness and it's nice and thin. Okay, so just go through the chicken. Okay, if you see any parts that are clumped together, you can sort of make slices into it. See what I'm doing is just making slits into it and that sort of separates the chicken and makes it thinner. Okay, here we go. Just make some slits. Let's make the chicken a little bit thinner. This is a nice thick, clump right here so just sort of there we go I love chicken thighs because they have fat on them and uh, they're not dry like chicken breasts although I can make chicken breasts that are really juicy and you can check out my other video that I have on that but I prefer dark meat I'm a dark meat guy um, I, I like fat so now here is the technique for seasoning is I dried these up to some degree. I, you know, I took a paper towel to them to get the excess water off of them. And I'm not gonna put oil on them first because if I did that, the oil would actually separate the seasonings from the chicken. And what you wanna do is you wanna get the seasonings to come in contact with the chicken and you want them to stay there. So I'm not gonna tell you what seasonings to use, but I am gonna tell you how to season chicken. What I like is Goya adobo. So I put adobo seasoning on it. And I also like this kicked up chicken. Okay, so I'll put a little bit of that on there. Pat that in there. Okay, and I'll do that to all the other pieces. So season. And I'm seasoning one side, and you're probably wondering why isn't he seasoning the other side? Well, because when I put this on top of this one, the seasoning from this is gonna touch that, okay? All right, now's the part where I want to seal it in. Okay, so what I mean by that is I'm going to put some olive oil on there. And I'm just gently going to massage the chicken just to get the olive oil to coat the chicken. So that's going to seal the chicken. The seasonings are going to stick to the chicken. And then when I put it in the fridge, it's not going to dry out. And also because uh, olive oil or any oil is a conductor of heat, when I cook this on the grill, it's going to cook faster. Okay, because it has oil on it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do this for at the very least one hour, but ideally I wanna marinate it in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. 24 hours, if you do this overnight, it's gonna have maximum flavor. All right, and then anything you've touched, you just take some Lysol wipes and you just wanna wipe it off really well. Same with the adobo. And that's it, you don't have to be afraid of handling chicken, okay? As long as the chicken smells good, it's nice and fresh, and you've disinfected everything afterwards, you are good to go. Let's get some chicken going. Guys, is there anything better than grilling on a nice, beautiful, sunny day? Look at that, not a cloud in the sky, perfect, beautiful day. And it's all because of chicken. Did you know that grilling is therapeutic? You know how I know? Because I feel it. All right. And what I like to do to finish them off is a little bit of lemon juice, just like that. Just give them a little squeeze. Little trick my dad taught me for Argentinian barbecue. I always finish chicken off with a little bit of lemon juice. <laughs> there we go. Okay, two more minutes and we are done. All right guys, check this out. Juicy, delicious grilled chicken, properly seasoned because we followed the two simple steps. First the seasoning, then the olive oil, and then you marinate it. And then look at this. Ah, oh, that's hot, okay. Look how nice and juicy that is. Oh boy, can't wait to dig into this. This is the kind of chicken that you know you're gonna burn your mouth, but you wanna do it anyways. Ah, so hot. Mmm. Oh man, so, so tender. Look, look at this, you don't even need a knife. It just comes apart, just like that. See? And this is why I love dark meat, chicken thighs. Look at that. It's just all flavor, juiciness. Check that out. Mm-hmm. All right, mm, feel good. Put a little extra lemon juice on there. Did I mention I love making these videos for you guys? All right, guys, thank you very much for watching another one of my videos and for supporting my channel. If you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments section what your favorite seasoning is for chicken. I will see you guys on the next video. So until next time, this is Christian saying, I'm gonna go and eat the rest of this chicken.